Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to listen to this message. This video is broken up into two parts. Part 1 compares the prosperity gospel to the real gospel. Part 2 teaches how to break free from the prosperity gospel. The truth will set you free, so please take the time to look up the scriptures mentioned in this video and read them with prayer. The word gospel means good news. There are many different gospels in the world today. However, there's only one gospel that is true and based solely on Christ Jesus. Comparing the prosperity gospel to the true gospel is a good place to get started. The comparison lists that I put together are not all encompassing but they are good enough to obtain an understanding of the gospel differences. Please take a moment to compare the gospels by looking at this list. I will go over each one later in this video. The prosperity gospel is centered on self. It makes you believe that God is there to serve you. There are even some teachings that want you to say, I am this or I am that as a positive affirmation. They teach you, if you just speak the right words over yourself, then you will prosper. Prosperity teachings that center on self are nothing more than teachings of demons. They turn self into an idol to be worshipped and served. Any thoughts about Christ Jesus only come if they want something. This is not the true gospel. In the true gospel, you are not the center, but Christ is the center. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He tells us to love him and to love others. Then our relationship with him grows. The prosperity gospel is based on temporal things. It's foolish and like a sandcastle that is here one minute and washed away in another. Jesus tells us in Luke 12:15, Be careful to guard yourselves against every kind of greed, because a person's life doesn't consist of the amount of possessions they have. The true gospel teaches this life and the things we see are only temporary. If we suffer afflictions, it's only temporary, and we should be thinking about what waits for us in eternity. The true gospel is based on eternity, not this temporal life on earth. The prosperity gospel appeals to the flesh. It appeals to lust, idolatry, jealousy, rivalries, divisions, heresies, revelings, and things like these. If you enjoy the prosperity gospel, then you will think a lot about these fleshy things. The true gospel tells us we can walk in the spirit and avoid the works of the flesh. You can only do this with Christ, not apart from him. The true gospel appeals to our spirit, not our flesh. The prosperity gospel focuses on the gifts of the Spirit. If you want to read up on the gifts of the Spirit, then go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. The gifts are free, and if God gives you one, it will not be taken away from you. When you focus on gifts, you can easily be led astray from the true gospel. In the true gospel, the emphasis is bearing fruit. To bear good fruit is true prosperity, and good fruit that remains gets the attention of our Father in heaven. John 15 verse 8 tells us, The Father is glorified when we bear lots of fruit. The prosperity gospel preaches that whatever you give will return back to you 100 or even 1,000 times your original gift. It's like a money tree that keeps on giving. Mark chapter 10 verse 30 talks about a hundredfold increase, and this verse is used a lot by prosperity preachers. The problem is they usually leave out verse 29, 
which is a picture of love. Love is missing from the prosperity gospel. The true gospel tells us you can give everything, including your body, but if it's not done in love, there is no profit. Giving in love means you are not expecting anything in return. When you walk in love, you are doing it to please God, not yourself. The prosperity gospel is a thorny gospel. It's a gospel that does not bear fruit. The good word, or good seed, that you hear gets destroyed by this gospel because the prosperity gospel is based on the anxiety of this world and the deceit of riches. This thorny gospel tickles the ears of those that are dull of hearing and hurts the ears of those that have ears to hear. The true gospel is seed, which bears fruit when the person hearing it has a good heart to receive it. Bearing fruit is prosperity according to God. It's the true prosperity that lasts into eternity. The prosperity gospel is very deceptive and will corrupt the people that listen to it. You will become wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked if you listen and receive this gospel. The prosperity gospel is the gospel of the church of Laodicea, as mentioned in Revelation chapter 3 verses 14 to 19. The true gospel cleans you as you listen to his word. The true gospel can wash away the thorns in your heart. Allow the truth to clean your heart from the foolishness of the prosperity gospel. If you are watching this part of the video, then you are probably seeking freedom from the lies of the prosperity gospel. Freedom comes from working on your heart. You can't do it without Christ Jesus helping you. The five steps mentioned are not a formula, but are given to help you build a relationship with Christ. Please take the time to look at the scriptures given and pray about them. Examine your heart and what you believe versus what the Bible says so you can align yourself with his holy word. The bride of Christ must be clean and without spot or blemish. If you enjoyed this video, please check out other videos on this channel.